Right, what a beautiful day. Um, middle of April, it's not warm, it's about 11 or 12 degrees. Um, after the Easter disaster, where well, I just couldn't get any confidence at all. I couldn't get um, anything really. I had trouble with my pivot pegs, I just couldn't get used to them. I had pivot pegs on other bikes before, and I've liked them. But for some reason, due to the frame design or something on this GS, it just doesn't work for me. So I returned back to the IMS cores. Um, so I'm going to try them today. Um, I've done a little bit more practice in indoors with the software for the drone, so I'm going to try that again today on my own. I'll be on my own today, so it's going to be gentle, easy stuff, you know. And then I'm just going to have a ride around on the street and go for a bit of a ride. Really, it's a nice day, so wife's having her hair done, so why not just get out and do it? Well, it's a lovely day. Um, I thought I'd have a quick mention of tyres. Um, I've currently got my off-road wheels on, which have got the Pirelli Scorpion Rally, not the STRs. Don't get confused between the difference between the STRs and the rallies. The rallies are a rally tyre designed to use on big bikes with wide rims. Um, road is pretty good. In the wet, I don't can't remember if I've ridden in the wet or not, but if I have, I'm sure as hell ain't going to ride it any very, very quickly. Uh, well, the STRs are my go-to road tyre now, with a tendance, slight tendance to off-road. You know, they're not as aggressive as as the normal rallies, but they grip really well on the road, and they're awesome in the rain. Uh, these rallies are okay on the road in the dry. You know, they're all right. You're not giving it a handful of gas. You could probably light the back end up and get the traction control to cut in if you wanted to in the lower gears without any problem on the tarmac, but that's not what I, what I really do. Uh, slow, that's what we've got going on here. Right. Okay, so that's a quick word on tyres. Um, I'm about 20 miles away from where I'm going to fly the drone, so well, we'll get back when we get there. It's not very warm today. Right, we've... Uh, Come to a spot where there's nothing above, nothing really. There's no wind. It's just a sand and gravel track. Sands are deep in some places, not so much in others. Uh, really gentle. So I'm just going to try the drone and see if that will follow me up this lane, really. That's as simple as that. So the setup is, as you can see, iPhone here. This is a cheap Chinese mount I've modified to go onto a RAM mount, which just holds my little drone. So I'll put the drone in there. Hopefully I don't have to calibrate it and give it a go. Recording. Okay, drone in hand. Let's see what happens. Okay. Bingo. Uh, let's try an orbit. Recording started. Recording. Right, we had a bit of a disaster there. The drone decided I flew it into orbit and the orbit was a bigger span than I expected. It clipped the tree over there. So I just had to change a prop. But that was it. Um, all good otherwise, no damage. Uh, crashed pretty well, to be honest. Um, so we're going to try again. This time I'm just going to do what I was going to do originally <laughs> and see if this works. Okay. That's quieter for a start. Okay. Let's keep it quite low. 
put the gimbal down keep it to this side just go off a little bit so we don't hit any trees go off a bit more but it's quite windy up there uh, so a little bit more okay hit that put it in the track and there we go let's try again Well, that didn't go quite as planned. We've got some footage, but not enough. Um, then we crashed it, and then some more footage. But, uh, yeah. So, just like gentle ride. I don't like being out on my own on a big bike like this in case something dreadful happens. You know, I don't mind this easy stuff. It's famous last words. But uh, this gravel's okay. It's all right, the tyres grip well. And it always takes me a long while to get into the swing of things. Even if from, not just the first ride of the season, every ride, it always takes me a while to settle. Once I've settled, I'm normally okay. I can pick the pace up. Uh, I kind of enjoy myself. And relax but at the start I'm always very nervous always takes me a while now I sort of like settle down a bit now the flex bar is doing their job you know a lot of people ask about the bars the bars are the best thing I've put on this bike to be honest I wouldn't be riding it on these conditions I don't without them but you don't know maybe I would but maybe I wouldn't maybe I just put up with more pain than I put up with now but um I could hack it down here a lot quicker, but I'm on my own. Oh, sheep, look, lambs. Uh, the goggles are in the back. I haven't even been bothered to put my goggles on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll stop for a coffee somewhere. Sort of COVID is COVID's still about. There's no question about it. I've had it, and we all know about it, so... KTMs. I suppose I better wait for them to break down, I suppose. No, no, only joking KTM riders. I must admit, I read 1190S, I really like that. Wait, here we go. It's muddy now, it's a bit slippy. Give us some gas, that'll be alright. Here we go, we're out of that one. I'm just trying to see where you pick the road up here. So it's through this gate. It is through this gate. 